How to Go On Living Life Alone. Brought to you by www.livinglifearticles.com Beginning of life. Life as one. A transition to another phase of life. Life can be pretty scary when you are on your own, but more so, it can get lonely. If you are in the midst of trying to make that transition from being used to living with someone to now being single for whatever reason, there are things that will help. A good start. Look after the little things first. Security. Start by installing good locks on your windows and doors. This will give you some peace of mind, even if you are in a safe area. Socialize. If you like to stay home a lot, then invest in a computer and learn how to do some online socializing. Explore. Get to know your neighbors and join in any neighborhood social activities that they have. In touch. Stay in touch with the world. Join new social activities and don't become a hermit. Your safety and security. You need to feel safe. It doesn't matter whether others think you're being overdramatic. It is what will make you feel safe and secure that counts. Most likely you live in a totally safe area and have always felt safe there. You may find though, because you are not used to the quietness of your surrounds, being as you are on your own, that you now hear noises that you are not familiar with. This is normal, and that's why we suggest the extra comfort of additional security. Your new best friend. Don't underestimate the computer. You may not be computer savvy, and you may figure at your age it's too late. Give yourself some credit, and when you discover this whole new electronic world waiting for you, then you will be glad that you did. Become a social butterfly, at least amongst your neighbours. If you have lived in your neighbourhood for a while, chances are you know your neighbours. Get to know them a little more now, and you will find that they will be more in tune to keeping a watch out for you. It doesn't mean that you have to be constantly socialising with them, as they must have busy lives as well. But it is a way of letting them know that you don't mind them watching over you, where, if they saw something amiss, they would take appropriate action. The best way to keep things on an even keel is to be sure to join in on any neighbourhood social events that transpire. Hello world, it's the new me. A change of life means a change of pattern. You may have had a lot of activities that you were involved in with your housemate. You can keep these going, but be sure to add a few new ones as well. Make sure that you mix and match your activities so that you are mixing with a variety of different groups. This will help you to broaden your interests. Be sure to do some home entertainment as well. This keeps your social skills up and allows you to build your independency. Take time out for reflection. Don't keep so busy you can bury the pain. The reasons that you are on your own could be many. Perhaps your partner has passed away, or you have just decided to separate. If you are going through a grieving period, do not fall into the trap of running yourself ragged just so you don't have to think about the pain or hurt. You need to allow yourself time to heal. If, on the other hand, you have just moved away from home and this is your first time living alone, then, wow, you have some wonderful experiences ahead of you. Word of caution, though, no matter why you are on your own, don't let people start to use your home as a place to crash. Visitors are wonderful and short stays are great, but you would be well advised to keep them short and sweet. Questions? Need more information? Feel free to contact us www.livinglifearticles.com or www.livinglife1.blogspot.com 
Be sure to check out www.socialnetworkmarketstop.ning.com.